So I'm one of those people who needs a fan running at like all times and oh the light! <laughs> Hi everyone my name is Alex and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, hello I'm Alex. This. And this is Missy! So oh, I really wanted to make this video to give um, a few life updates, nothing like major or anything like that. Just talking about, um, you know, my time from like Christmas to May. Like I really have not sat down with you guys and actually talked to you guys. So let's start off with um, December to January. So as you can see in my past videos, or if you haven't, go check that out. So recently I studied abroad. I'm actually wearing my $6,000 t-shirt that you see here. Key study abroad. Keys is like a really awesome um, Kentucky school. They don't have a physical school but like it's a school for like study abroad and it's actually called uh, Kentucky Institute of International Studies. Ball State students can go on these trips and like I think we're the only Indiana school that is with this Kentucky school and they have a whole bunch of different Kentucky schools to go with it too. I've always wanted to go to Italy since I was little. I've always wanted to go and I've always wanted to study abroad as well but like with my major it was just so impossible. It was just so strict. It's not flexible. Like if you miss one class you could potentially be a year behind if the professors are true assholes. Shortly after I made my last update video, last summer, I think that was, or spring, whatever I named it. I actually got an email from Keys to like the Ball State students saying that they have a winter study abroad program. I was really interested in it and I looked at it and I was just like, I really, really want to do this. Like, is this possible? And maybe like a few weeks later, like I saw their deadline for the application coming up and I asked my mom, like I got on the phone with her, I'm like, listen, there's this really great opportunity and it's a study abroad opportunity and I had no idea, like I was expecting a no. My mom's like, yeah, she was totally open to the idea and she's like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. And I'm just like, what? Oh my god. So I was ecstatic, like I was super, super excited. So I applied, but now the next step was that I had to be accepted. It was a long process, but I filled out this whole entire thing. I had to fill out so many fucking forms, so many forms if you ever have to go and study abroad you will fill out so much paperwork before you actually go. I got a letter saying that, you know, that I was accepted. I was accepted and everything, and then I had to fill out even more paperwork, and I'm just like, oh my god, this is never going to end. It was just like a dream come true. Like, it felt like I really was not there. Like, it did not feel real. But then we stayed five days in Rome, and then we stayed five days in Florence. Everything was in walking distance of our hotel, which was not a really great hotel to begin with, but um, it was in the middle of everywhere and there are just ruins everywhere. Everything is just so preserved. Did you know that Rome, the actual city of Rome is underneath the city of Rome? That doesn't make sense, but like everything just like rose up. The only thing that I actually really wanted to see was just to see the Colosseum and it's just like, it's so mind-blowing. It is massive. Like, it is fucking massive <laughs> and everything is just, I don't know. It's hard to explain, like it's just so surreal, like once you're there, you're just like, this isn't real. It's just so fucking amazing. Seeing everything in person, like I saw the Statue of David, I saw the Forum, I saw the fucking Pope. I saw the Pope in person, that was like fucking crazy. The whole atmosphere, the culture, the people, everything. It was just so amazing to see, it was just amazing to see Italy overall. So 15 days ago, two weeks ago, on May 6th, I graduated college and that's kind of a big fucking thing. <laughs> I graduated from Ball State, I now officially have my bachelor's in interior design and I have a minor in historic preservation. It's a mouthful. I did not go to the main ceremony, we were actually on the rain schedule and I, I didn't want to haul my grandparents out there who can like barely walk already and it, no. Nah. Like I, I don't. It's a good thing, you know, we're all graduating together, all strangers, and um, we didn't really have a special speaker either. Last year they had Papa John come out, like, THE Papa John, the fucking founder, CEO, Papa John, because he graduated from Ball State, and he was the speaker last year. And who did we get? I don't even fucking know, because they didn't advertise it at all, and I'm just like, you know what? If it was like, I was really hoping for Grandpa Letterman, David Letterman, he is our grandpa here at Ball State, he graduated from Ball State, some fun facts, and I was really hoping because he just retired recently, like, oh, maybe he'll come back to Ball State, you know, just one last, you know, hey, Ball State, and I'm seeing like all these other colleges get a whole bunch of celebrities, 
and I have no idea who's the special speaker. They did not advertise it at all, so I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, I, I really don't want to get up early. Like, I'm going to sleep in. So my graduation, like, for our individual college was at 3.30 p.m. So I was, like, sleeping in. I was, like, checking on Snapchat when I woke up at, like, 10 or whatever. I'm seeing, like, everybody lining up for graduation, like, the main ceremony. I'm, like, still in bed. I'm like, yeah, this, this is a lot better. So usually colleges will have the one overall big college, but then it breaks down into smaller colleges, like you'll have like the nursing, architecture, and then my college was in the Applied Technology College, um, and that consisted of Family Consumer and Sciences, which was my category, and that has like dietetics, fashion, interior design, um, hospitality, um, anything else that I can't think of at this right moment, I don't even know. Um, it's just like a random fucking group of everybody. Then there's like the military people, and then some other technology people. Our college is like so fucking random. So interior design will be in the architecture program next year which does not benefit us at all unless like we want to come back for some ungodly reason, I don't know. I'm really glad for next year it's going to be a lot harder for them because they're going to be taking like actual architecture classes but it's going to benefit them so much and I'm so sorry for those freshmen because they have no idea what has been happening. But. That's, I'm really glad that the department is finally taking the steps in the right direction because interior design works with architects, like they work together. We also work with engineers and mechanics and plumbers and all these whole bunch of different people and contractors and everybody. So the ceremony only lasted 45 minutes, which was surprisingly a lot faster than I had expected. It was shorter than my high school graduation, but again, my high school graduation was only an hour because we only had like 100 kids graduate in my class. Pretty much. All that we got was just this. As you can see, this is just to hold the diploma. Now it doesn't actually, ooh, now it doesn't actually have the diploma in it. It's just a nice free case. They would have probably charge like 50 bucks for this, honestly. They mail our diplomas two weeks after our graduation. And also like we don't, you can walk in graduation, but like you don't actually know if you're legit graduating until like a week after when everybody submits their final grades. And a mine is completely official. I got an email saying like, congrats, like you got a bachelor's and a minor. A lot of people decorated their cap and we didn't do this in high school. This wasn't really a thing in high school. So super, super excited. So this is my cap. I'm gonna keep this forever because I'm so fucking proud of this. And I actually didn't cost a lot of money and I made everything. So. Um, we're all stores in the end, just make it a good one. Um, this is a Doctor Who quote <laughs> because I'm obsessed with Doctor Who. And I made this bow out of a ribbon. I should have just bought a fucking bow because this was kind of hard to make. But everything is like hardcore glued to the cap, so I can't really take it off or anything like that. All the letters are sticky letters, but I had to put Mod Podge on them. And I, this was like my first time ever using Mod Podge. I didn't know it was gonna dry clear or not. I'm like, this is looking pretty iffy, but I did two coats of it and it did pretty well and nothing's fallen off. And you can't honestly tell that much. Um, I graduated from college. It's a really big thing. And it hasn't really hit me yet. It just kind of feels like I'm just on summer vacation, honestly. It hasn't really hit me that like I'm not going to be going back to school. Like I don't have any more like just pointless homework. So currently I don't have a job. I do, but like not a full-time job anywhere yet. I have applied to like from decorator jobs to like high firm jobs. I'm just trying to just honestly get a full-time job anywhere at this point like because life is expensive, adulting is expensive. I'm kind of prepared just to um, accept the fact that maybe I won't get a job right away and I'm honestly like looking for a job that I really want to have like I really I know I'm not gonna be like the senior interior designer of a firm or anything like that but I really want to work at a firm where I'm actually proud to represent them like I'm proud to work there and with my minor like historic preservation I really want to work with older homes older buildings like I want to even mind doing contractor work like I want to learn like I I like doing hands-on stuff and I'm kind of I don't know I'm kind of still I'm still trying to like get a feel of what the hell I kind of want to do. Adulting is so great. It is so fucking great to be a millennial right now. <laughs> I also really kind of like a promotional for me because it's something I'm really excited for. I make um, plugs for people with stretch ears. And these ones that I'm actually wearing today, I actually did make these. These are 5 eighths. 
I was gonna have them for sale, but then I'm like, oh, they're just so cute. Like every time I make something in my size, I'm just like, oh, it's just so cute. Like I want to keep it. And I'm trying, trying not to keep all the five eighths. I got so much hate because I wore acrylic uh, plugs. Like, oh my god, it's so toxic. It's so bad for you. Like. Jesus Christ, it's not anymore. It's really not. It's not. I have had no issues with acrylic. I love acrylic because it warms up to your body temperature. So like if you're going outside, like it's not going to freeze up your ears or anything like metal wood or like a natural stone wood. But my favorite materials are silicone and acrylic. Like I looked into acrylic, like how I could use acrylic to make plugs. Like it is toxic when it's a liquid, like when you're actually pouring it and um, once it cures out and everything, once it's completely dry, it's not toxic anymore. But I'm in a very small area, it's not well ventilated, and I have a cat. So I'm like, okay. So I just need a resin in general. So I found, um, through a lot of research, I found this stuff called art resin. And you can use it for like paintings and stuff, you can use it to make jewelry. And I actually emailed them, I'm like, listen, I have a lot of people who are very strict with their stretch ears and they are very cautious about what they put in their ears and stuff like that. And I asked them, I'm like, listen, is this a toxic material and is this tested on animals? It's completely vegan, it's non-toxic, it does have a smell when you're pouring it. It takes 24 hours for it to dry and then a week for, for it to fully cure out and there's no toxics or anything, like I'm wearing them, I'm totally fine. So. I've been making a whole bunch of plugs and I will show a couple of pictures here about some plugs I've personally made and if you want to follow my Instagram for that business specifically, it's called Crafts by Alex Seiger. No gaps, just flat out, I'll leave that there below, but I am super excited to do this because it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So okay, um, I now have to go because the sun is currently setting and I need to do my laundry. So as I am editing this, I will be currently in a laundromat. Here's some other videos that you can go check out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my videos. Comment down below. Um, random question for you guys to comment about. Do you guys keep your batteries in your refrigerator? Because my family always did. Just a random question. Anyway, I will see you all next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.